Yeah. Basically, it stops right up. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right spot. Right there, there's a snow drift that goes over the road. So we've made it as far as we can come realistically. There's a couple trucks parked on the side, but we found a spot where we could turn around here on the trail. So, stops up there, right there, because the snow goes over it. And the trail continues onward. And basically, I don't think it goes up there. I think it goes up and then down past over there. But, yeah, there's a couple butt pucker moments, but nothing, nothing crazy. Just a fun, fun, easy trail that probably a stock vehicle could make it pretty much most of the way. So there's my rig all loaded out because we're doing some camping. My friend's Tacoma just got his lift put on it. He's not camping with us. They're heading back, so he doesn't really have any gear with him. Yeah. And then I guess the view's all around. We can see. So we came all the way down through there. Up and then switch back, switch back, switch back, switch back, switch back up to here. Maybe we should go down there. Really pretty out here, though.
Got camp set up. We arrived at night. So setup was at nighttime. I'll probably show this all tomorrow when it's right out. This is my little trash can. Uh, like a trasheroo, but I bought a trasher and they're so big that I wanted something a little smaller. I'll talk about that more later. We got one of these guys. Got some dog treats. Trying out this super small stove. Uh, just gonna make something easy, some hot dogs. And then we got the pelican table. That's a towel hanging off. Kind of like the hand washing area over here. This is the floating pelican table that I said I would talk about eventually at some point, and probably will. This is bitchin' sauce. It's the best sauce. All right, I'm gonna make some food. Relax for the evening. See you guys later. Here it is in the morning. We're actually packing up because there's tons of horse flies out here. So we'll probably finish off this little trail and head home, actually. So we were gonna camp in another place and then randomly my friend and I were talking on our hams and another buddy of mine that was up here, we didn't even know he was up here, said hey, because we kind of have a frequency we talk on. And then they were down at this lower location so we just swung by and camped near them on the way back so kind of stopped in. So there's the tent. He was actually loading up the big old bag of pillows and stuff. Just got this awning. So provide some little shade. So I'm gonna attack by horse flies a little bit. And put it on top of this Prince rack. Here you can see the GoPro mount I put up on there. Yeah. Good little trip. Treyu actually was out wandering and brought back this antler shed. That's kind of cool. So here's a dry bag. It's actually a dry bag backpack. It's like 35 bucks that I use as a trash can. I took the backpack straps off and I can just hang it from this. I also rigged up a way to kind of hang it off the back like a trash roof if I needed to. But I kind of like it because it's a good size for like, I believe this is a 20 gallon bag actually. Kind of those tall and thin bags. So good size for that. And it is a dry bag, so obviously I can close it up and roll top it to seal it off. And in my mind that kind of seals the scent off a little bit more from bears and stuff. I know it won't stop it completely, but also can completely contain a mess and I don't have to worry about it sloshing around. Over here also I have this little lantern that at nighttime kind of illuminates this whole section and gives a nice soft glow. Also that has this yellow mode which is supposed to help with mosquitoes but I haven't really tested it so I'm not sure. That's basically it. I'm gonna pack it up now, maybe do a quick drone flyby and then we'll be on our way. Thanks for joining us.